And let's keep on going into Victory Road. This episode is gonna be nothing but Victory Road. It's gonna be a long episode of nothing but battles. Alright, so we are at the end of Victory Road. Holy crud, we did it. Oh my gosh. So I no, so this is where I battle Yonkers, right before I go into Victory Road. Well, at least we we're in Victory Road and we don't have to if if we faint, we don't have to worry about coming back all the way over here again. Alright, so I just defeated a Rhyhorn, used Melclaw on it three times and killed it. And that is enough to evolve toenails. And there we go. What? Toenails is evolving! Right there. We vile. Oh yeah. OP now. Our team is OP in this time warp challenge. Hope you like the team. This is it right here. My full team finally complete. Hope y'all like it and we will see them in action next time to face Elite Four. What's up everybody, I am Bobo Elite League and welcome back to this Pokemon Platinum Time Warp Challenge in the Pirate Golden Age. And well, ideally there is only 5 episodes left in this playthrough, one for each Elite Four and the Champion. So here we go, let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge a Pokemon League. So let me examine the gym badges you gathered from Sinnoh. Orbergs, ah uh, yeah, we already know we got all 8 gym badges. Some of them, most of them are easy. <laughs> and yeah. They finally confirmed us, and most of them were easy battles, not gonna lie. Straight, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here, and go for glory! And so let me show you something. I use most- I use some of my items, right? I use a lot of my items, stocked them outside on some items, got some more revives, got a lot of full restores, and yeah, everything else is the same. I think I should get more full restores, but let me show you my Pokemon. All level 57, 58, and throttle is 60. That is solid. I'm ready to go face the very first Elite Four. So, I guess, lay out. <laughs> Here we are. Alright, hold on. Alright, so. Uh, the Bug Gym Leader versus Aaron. This is what we're, we're going to do right now. Yeah, there he is. Who do, I have Pound Boom up front, right? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, intense music going on. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Let's talk to him right now. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on the challenges here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Here we go. The very first Elite Four versus Aaron with the bug types. Lego, the start of Elite Four. And plus, since this is a... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be switching off... All, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be... Uh, I'm only battling one Elite Four per video, just as usual. And... Well, they're not. Even, these fools aren't even level 50. What the heck? I'm like 10 levels over. Holy crud! If I don't outspeed, that's kind of sad. But I don't want to waste my Fire Fang. All right, Yanmega's faster than me because Yanmega has beast speed. But I'm, I don't want to waste my flamethrower, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a Fire Fang. See if that can take out. Oh, I missed. Oh crud! It's any S speed boost. Oh crud! All right, maybe I have to use a flamethrower. All right, so he's gonna keep on using double team. Hopefully, I can get one move off because one move is enough to take out this Yanmega. And I don't know why I'm lagging. I'm getting all these random lag spikes in here. Come on, hit! Yes, I hit. Hit flamethrower. So that Yamamega is definitely out of here. She's that Yamamega stands no chance against me. Sorry, mom. No, just kidding. Yeah, that is mom. Oh gosh. All right, yeah. So he's out, down and out, no doubt. I'm like almost ten levels over. Thank you, Hound Boom. All right, Yamamega's out. One down, three to go. Wait, he, he had five Pokemon, four or five Pokemon. I'm not sure. Here comes a Hera boss. Should I stay in? No, I shall not because I'll tell you one thing. Hound Boom is have. Dark type and Heracross has like close combat or something like that. Okay, four to go. He has five Pokemon, so four to go. So I'm gonna go into Hera Boss because Heracross has. I'm gonna go into Hera Boss, man. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna use Aerial Ace. High Horse faster than than that Hera Cross. So Heracross has nothing against my High Horse. And it, Aerial Ace is four times super effective, and that can. Okay. Oh, there you go. This is gonna be one of the easiest Elite Fours I'm thinking because I'm just okay on everything right now. Error thing. <laughs> Alright, here comes the Drapion. I think this is uh, Aaron's best leveled Pokemon. Don't want to go into Pelopus. I want to go into Throttle so I can Earthquake this Drapion because I think Earthquakes the only move. I think ground moves are the only thing that's super effective against Drapion. We'll find out right now though. Alright, so yeah. Level 53. This is his best leveled Pokemon. And let's see what EQ can do. He's faster than me. He knows Ice Fang. Ah, oh, man. Of course he knows Ice Fang. Who doesn't know Ice Fang, right? Alright, so let's see how that does less than half. That's good. That's a good sign. Alright, so I'm not gonna miss Earthquake. I can 
get a super effective move on this Drapion. If it's super effective, it should be. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's see how much I click it does against this Drapion. Should be decent damage. It doesn't! Okay, oh! How about that, man? How about that? Alright, so Throttle's still got it outsped, so Throttle is not good to go up against all these fast Pokemon. Even slow Pokemon. He's probably the slowest Pokemon in this elite in the elite in the Elite Four. Alright, but anyway, here comes a Vespi Queen, so I'm gonna have to send out Houndboom right here. Two more Pokemon to go, including this Vespi Queen Queen. Alright, anyway. It's exerting his pressure, so I'm losing flamethrowers left and right. But I'm still faster than this Vespi Queen, so I'm gonna be able to get off a flamethrower. Let uh, Let's see how much damage this does against this Vespi Queen. Because Vespi Queen have high defenses, but yeah, she lived with like three HP. Attack order? That's not gonna do any wait, it might do so. It's gonna do decent da regular damage. That does that does a lot of damage, holy crud. Alright, so let me use Fire Fang now because I saw that. I saw that full restore coming. No doubt about that. So, so I'm gonna be able to get two attacks off with my Fire Fang. Let's see how much Fire Fang does it first, at least. I don't think it's gonna do. I'm, I'm, I don't think it's gonna do half. Okay, it does more than half. Oh dang, it did a lot. And I burned it. So attack order is not gonna do jack squat if it decides to. If it, if it can attack again, which it won't because I'm not gonna miss this fire fang. And that fire fang is gonna be enough to kill off the Vespi Queen, no doubt. All right. So four, three. Yeah, four Pokemon out. One last Pokemon to go. I'm ready. Let's. I forgot what it is. Let's see. It is a Scizor. Half Steel, half Bug type. My ball chop. No, I, did, I only had. Uh, I could. I wasn't allowed to evolve it. But yeah, here comes the Scizor. I'm. I'm gonna outspeed the Scizor. Use a four times super effective flamethrower on this Scizor. If that doesn't OKO it, I don't know what the heck will. That does OKO it. All right, easiest. That was probably the easiest Elite Four in this game right here against everyone with the Bug types. Hound Boom. Swept the heck. No, no, he didn't sweep, but he he put in a lot of most of the work. I'm gonna concede defeat. All right. So first, Elite Four is out. No deaths, even though it doesn't matter because I can still revive any Pokemon that I lose. But I never lose. I never lost any Pokemon. It's just a matter of healing them up. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We we lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it from me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Yes, they are. I can tell. All right, so let's, we will go, man, that was a quick video, it was like less than 10 minutes. All right, but anyway, since it is less than 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and keep on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, heal up some Pokemon. Uh, Thrall needs to be healed up with a Moo Moo Milk. And uh, I think uh, Hound Boom needs to just, he only needs a Super Potion. Yeah, that's good enough. But I have a regular potion. I might as well waste another, a regular potion, because I don't ever use these. Let's just waste it on that. All right, so next time we will face the second elite four in this game. Yeah, here we are. Four more, ba four more videos left in this playthrough. Countdown to the last video. All right, <laughs> all right. See you on the next video. Stay safe.